guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a tack. Now I'm putting one on this dirt because it doesn't have one. Right, let me get y'all set up. Alright. Uh, what you need to do, um, if you have a face plate or you know, a dash plate, you got to remove that obviously. Unless you got some sneaky way of doing it. Then you just, the way I chose to do it, was just get a hose clamp. Tell you what, take this off. Just show y'all what you gotta go through to get it all set up and ready to go. So, get it all set up like this. There's gonna be a screw. You gotta run all the wires through the screw. And then through this mounting plate. There we go. Focus. There you go. Alright. So it's this this screw and this mounting plate. So you take you run them all through the screw, you run it through the mounting plate, get it started, and then you run it all the way on. There. Now, for the wires, you're going to have four wires. So let me get them all. Alright. This is not just a little bit. I don't think we need to be in that far. Alright. This goes to your distributor. Now, it depends. This is, there's, on my truck, there is two slots. One of them is for attack, and one of them is for something else. I don't remember what it said. But this green wire goes to whatever. You got to find it on your vehicle. Now, I'm going to show you my truck here in just a minute. It, it'll be basically the same on all, all older GM V8s and probably V6s. This little thing, you gotta have one of these. Okay? Gotta have a little female end. Oops, I'm trying to use the viewfinder. But you gotta have one of those. So, you take and crimp it on there. And then I'll show you here in just a minute, but the rest of the wires. You got a red ground like this. Up. Hold on. There it is. All right. You got a, you know, power and ground. Uh, red and black. And this white one goes into. Move it. All right. Well, no, y'all can see it. See this little thing right here? This is like a splitter connector or something. I don't know. It's a splicer. You take, you stick this one into here. Oh, I then took it apart like an idiot, but. You take, you put the white one in there, you put the gray one in the slot that runs through. Can y'all see that? It's just a little bit. Oops. Y'all see that slot that goes through? That one. Put the, the light wire in that one. And then you put the white one in the side that doesn't go through. And that's it basically when you pull your lights on. Oh, my bad. You gotta find a bulb. Like one that turns on when you pull the light switch. Or you can just straight up wire it to the battery, it doesn't matter, but I prefer, you know, so it doesn't kill the battery. So you don't gotta have a switch or nothing for it. You just plug it into the lights. And when you pull your lights on, there it is. I don't know if it came on or not. I doubt it, but the lights, yeah. Um, that's that. Let me show you the distributor here. Hold on just a second. Forgot to tell you. You gotta run it through the firewall. This one has gotta go through the firewall. I'll show you all the rest of the connections in just a minute, but I'm gonna show you this one first. Alright. 
Alright, sorry about the kind of funny angle there, but I'm gonna try to show you. If you can find a hole like mine, this is what you do. You just take, you run it up. Oops, I done hit the camera. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show y'all. But I'll show you on the outside. Alright, sorry guys. Alright, see that right there? That's all the wire I can get. All right, y'all. That's where that should be. I right, got about as much wire as I can get from that. You see, I got plenty. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take, run it up over the master cylinder. Get it over there. Walk around. Yeah, sit y'all down for a second. Off. You gotta take it all off. You know what I'm saying? I'll let our filter or something has to come off. Do this. This is probably, you don't gotta do it properly. Make sure you tell it does help. But you don't got to. I had on my vacuum line, so I'll do it. It's okay. Because I didn't hook it back up. My buddy did. Alright. Now, hopefully, y'all can see my shirt there. Alright. Alright. And what you gotta do, get your wire. Here's my wire. Take a run it behind the distributor. Come back around. And now, let's see. Oops. Bad, y'all. Just bear with me here. This is very hard to worry about the camera. Alright, you see this little black thing there? On the top, it says tack and back. Well, I'm just gonna slide that up in there. The tack one. Now, I'll get in there and show y'all. Oh, yeah. See, it slides right up in there where it says tack and back on the tack side. That's it. Alright, that's that end of the deal. Now we have three remaining wires. So, what we're going to do, let me find you a good place. Hold on. Okay guys, and all the takes that I took I forgot to mention in the in the one that I actually used. Number two, um, I'm not doing it that good because it's mother's. You just mo or you just taking you I don't know if you can see it, hold on. There is that little plug right there with the black wire coming out of it. It wires in the ignition. You just look for a fuse or something like that that gets power when the ignition's turned on. That's it. Hope that kind of clears things up. Okay, y'all should be able to see that. This is what camel position three. Take three. Alright, let's see. Got all the Alright, now that you got it like that, you just take, put the little brass thing on it. Well, for you guys with the little ignition things are lucky to me. Well, I know what I can do. Get the unplugs. Oh, I forgot. Oh. All right. I know y'all can see that. Let's make it a lot easier on me. Went and forgot about that part. You're just taking you press the little brass thing in there. Oops. That ain't gonna work. Hold on. Get it all situated here. 
I'm trying to keep it where y'all can see, but I mean, it's not my. I'm trying to get this hooked up as well. It's very hard to show and do it at the same time. Right. There we go. I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Alright. Now you finish product. It just, just kind of works. No. Well. Nah. Go ahead and plug it in. And then this little tag should have power. Uh, I don't have my keys. I'm going to have to go get those. But for now, I shall plug it in. For your ground, I have a bolt here that I can use. That's already wired in. In fact, I can show you it because that's how awesome Chevy is. They left me a little window. Oop, we gotta go up just a little bit. Just tie you right there. See if I can work around the camera, maybe. I doubt it, but I'm gonna try. Well, I think y'all get the idea. It's this one right here. I'm not gonna be able to tie it with the camera right here, but y'all get the idea. All right. Let's see what you got. There it is. It's all tied on there. It don't look like it is, but it is. It's real thin wire. The kit don't have very thick wire, but it does work. So, let's see if we can get some wires hooked up and uh, tied up somewhere. Not all hanging down and looking crappy. Alright, be back. Well, no, I can go ahead and keep it rolling. Alright. So now, show your light switch problem. Now, what I do, I just take another rod. I can switch out down here. Hold on. Well, I take, I just grab it. I just run it up through different places and grab it so I can know where it is. Then I run it back to that same place and run it up to another place. Let me get you up here on the seat if I can show you. I didn't get one. Let's get the shit over here. I can't tell. Hold on. Give me a break. Hold on. Let me get in. This works a lot better when you're in it. Alright, yeah. You see that white wire? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and run it back through. It's gonna come through the radio slot just for a minute. Now I get it ready to go. There it is. Now I'm right back up. Now here's a tricky one. It's got to go up behind the heater. There it is. Now I just stick it into there. And if yours was still good, you clamp it down. Which mine is still good, I reckon, but not that good. And grab some tape. All right. Now, because mine is used, let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. All right. Since mine is a little used, we'll wrap it in tape so it don't do it again, so it don't come apart. It 
it's just in the least bit used. So if I can ever get this tape undone, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I've had this tack in and out of other things, and this truck has had it twice. But this will be the second time this truck has had it. Now it's all hooked up. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let me go get my keys and show you it works. I'll be back in a minute. Don't know if you have to see that or not, but it does work. Hold on. Like where it is. Check why she cam sometimes. I don't know what that's about. There's some dirt in the carburetor or something, but it sounds like it's camming. But yep. All right, guys. That's how to make a tack on your or how to put a tack on your vehicle. Doesn't matter what you got. Um. My biggest tip is, if you don't have an old GM like this, V8, just try to, just look around where it gets ignition, and wherever it gets ignition, there should be some place where you can wire it into. There's normally a wire coming off of the distributor somewhere that you can just use one of these little splicers on. One of these little guys. You should be able to use one of them, and it should work. Just keep trying. I mean, you, you can't really mess anything up. You know, if you cut into it, you know, cut it back together, tape it up. It's not gonna hurt it. But just keep trying. If you can't, if you don't have the same model engine or whatever. Now with the straight sixes in these trucks, I have no idea. Probably the same thing because they all got HEI distributors. But yeah, that's it. <laughs>